So this recent update brought with it anti-cheat and a few fixes for det uh, I crashed. So this update brought with it anti-cheat and a few tit oh, okay. Yep. Yep. So this recent update brought with it a few and there it is again. Yep. So this update brought with it ah uh, yep. Yes, okay. So this update uh, <laughs> Skull and Bones is a new pirate adventure game where Hey, you beautiful buccaneers, Falcor here. So this update brought with it a much needed anti-cheat and a few bug fixes to the game, none of which are working and crashing the game for most people. But at least Xbox players can use mouse and keyboard. Wait, what? Huh? Oh, okay, well, <laughs> moving on. One thing that did get an overhaul is a new cookie crumb trail for the storyline in several different areas. Can I first just say that I'm incredibly happy that the story for Sea of Thieves is finally on a roll again, and the grey matter is beginning to surface for all of us hungry for the lore within the game. Okay, all right. Yep, yep, here we go. Look at this. All right, love it. Yeah! So down in the Pirate Legend Tavern, it appears as though the Pirate Lord finally has someone to talk to, apart from the occasional visitor looking to pick up an Athena quest, which has now become a thing of the past due to the diving mechanic. I figure Rare felt sorry for the old buddy, so gave him a friend. That friend in question is Briggsy. They both stand, pondering over the new tainted Sword of Souls. Now, first of all, I'll talk about the good stuff, and then you'll get a rage moment where I talk about the bad stuff. Maestro, cue the good stuff music. It appears as though there are many skulls of Siren Song, and it was in fact the Pirate Lord who sent Briggsy on this quest. The correct skull has yet to be found, and when it is acquired, it will open a portal that will allow the Pirate Lord and Briggsy to help cure Tasha of her curse. At the moment, her curse is merely held at bay thanks to the strange cursed cannibal gifted to her by the Dark Brethren, but the Pirate Lord and Briggsy are hatching a plan to use the memories of the Sea of the Damned to help cure Tasha of her curse. Part of this plan was to also bring back Tasha's father, who can also be seen in the tavern, standing next to his wife. Yes, the tavern keeper is his wife, meaning that Tasha's mother has been here all along. Tasha's father also mentions that before he was summoned to the Athena's tavern, he was a barkeep at the Tavern of the Damned. And sure enough, after checking at the Tavern of the Damned in Pirate's Life Tall Tale Quest 3, there he is, standing at the tavern's bar, with exactly the same dialogue as Louise at Athena's tavern. In fact, all tavern keepers have this dialogue at the moment, which makes things a little bit stretch. Oh, God damn it! It did it again! Ha ha! We love it! Now, for the bad stuff. Maestro, start the bad stuff music. Briggsy mentions that she was working for the Dark Brethren for a moment, but then she got bored and left them to it. Excuse me, Rare? What? Have you any idea how hyped the community has been for the strange temple with a strange monster locked away? And why are they now locating memories to save Tasha when there was a literal cure for the curse in this temple just waiting to be snatched up? Are we ever going to see a conclusion of this storyline? Or is it just going to be another, oh, Flame Art's coming back one day? Maybe Maybe we promise situation all over again. Ah, okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'll calm. Shush. Uh, sorry. Although we can all agree that the adventures really diluted the storyline to the point where even I was having a hard time keeping up with the tangents, I'm happy to see that they're retconning a few plot holes to help move the story along in just one direction. But to literally sum up all of the speculation we've been having as a community about possibly one of the best storylines these adventures have ever given us into one sentence that literally says, oh that thing, yeah, couldn't be bothered with it, moving on, is a little insulting. You didn't even give us the courtesy of a PNG on Twitter. I mean, come on. But yeah, apart from that literally being swept under the rug and apparently forgotten about for the foreseeable future, I'm glad we're getting the ball rolling again after over a year of storyline being put on hold. Also, burb. The Tainted Sword of Souls has returned, and the Pirate Lord and Briggsy intend to use its newfound powers of allowing them to shape the memories of those it touches to cure Tasha, among other things that are not yet explained. But there is still one tangent that has yet to come into fruition. During the 2023 tease videos, it was said that Flameheart also has a great interest in the Sword of Souls. Now tainted with his flame, it has literally become the Burning Blade, 
which would be a great trophy for him, especially considering it was the blade that vanquished the Order of Souls champion, Pendragon, and it's something that Flameheart seeks. Speaking of Flameheart, over at the 9 out of 10 shots Emporium, also known as Reaper's Hideout, it appears some renovation has occurred. The Burning Blade figurehead that was once stuck to the half-built ship at Shipwreck Bay has now found a new home, roped to the ceiling of Reaper's Hideout. I mean, we did kind of vandalize it in the last adventure by stealing its eye, so it was only a matter of time before we all started drawing wieners on it, so strapping it to the ceiling was probably a good call. But this is interesting, because it appears the reconstruction of the Burning Blade has halted and with Flameheart emerging sometime this year and seeking the now-tainted Sword of Souls, it makes you wonder what's actually going to happen. What with the tainted Sword of Souls being able to reshape memories and Flameheart still being in the Sea of the Damned, who knows what he could shape and bring into the real world? Lots to speculate on here, and it's pretty exciting. I feel as though this is just the start of Reaper's hideouts changing over the next few months, so keep an eye out to see what card they will deal in the future. Speaking of cards, that was an amazing segue. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Down at Port Cardio. Hang on. Okay, we're here. Down at Port Merrick within the Order of Souls building, the secret tarot cards that are left out in the open for everyone to see now reveals a new symbol, the rune for Below. This now reads Resurrection Below. I still stand by the theory that this isn't talking about Flameheart per se, but perhaps something that Flameheart might use. I mean, the whole world knows Flameheart's coming back, so it'd make no sense to get a clairvoyant to say, oh, hey guys, I, I had a vision, and it's, it's Flameheart, he's like, he's, he's, he's coming back. Everyone would be like, um, yeah, yeah, we know, uh, and also we want our money back. So I still think these cards will do a 180 on us and soon lead us down a different tangent. We'll just have to wait and see. Resurrection below Sandwich Pickle, for example. Well, at least that's better than Briggsy retconning the storyline and make- Oh yeah, the orb has said new stuff too, but it's pretty much everything I've already talked about. It's a bit useless now, the orb. The orb is like the dude that tells you information you already know. Like if you're about to make a cheese sandwich and it says, Hey, if you melt cheese on that, it tastes pretty good. Yeah, thanks orb. Good job. Why don't you tell us something we don't know? Oh, no. Oh, oh it's happening again. Here we go. Hey, here we go. It's done it again, look. There he goes. You see that? You see it? Because it wasn't there a minute ago. Now it's here again. You see how, see how, see how that works? Because it wasn't there and now it's there. It's, 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 it's just stopped again. It's stopped again. It's fine. Subscribing stops the game crashing. Click it. The Sea of Thieves 2024 preview event is about to start, and if I've done this right, in around about, uh, 20 minutes. I'm live right now over on Twitch, and we're going to do a little watch party together, so come on over if you're interested. If not, then, I mean, that's fine, no one's perfect.